Welcome to episode 39 of JLC. Look at this, we have our whole car park back. This channel follows an established business on its way to making a hundred million pounds. From delivery to warehouse and sales you won't believe, you'll see it all here at JLC TV. In the UK here for like 10 days I think and what a beautiful day. Beaksy, the sun's just broken through. We've got the full <laughs> use of the car parking. Let's change with the weather. Guys, stay tuned by the way. We're gonna give away more stuff today. <laughs> oh, how's it going guys? We're gonna give away more of these. More of these, yeah. Can I see? There's so many. Is this something yeah. here? Yeah. Oh, wow. Right, firstly the unboxing. I'm gonna get into some product stuff today, which is gonna be super cool. Pool on the, on the great speech that I did. 40,000 views on TikTok, <laughs> JLC.TV. We're stopping the competition that was on episode 31 because they haven't all been claimed and we're giving a new five away. Guys, how much did we turn over yesterday? 16,495. 16,495, a slow day. And in Europe. I don't know Europe. I didn't get posted. Under a grand, so it was a slow day from both camps. But you know what I said? It's the start of April. And because of such a big March, we have a lot of like catching up, you know? So yeah, fingers crossed, it's going to be a big day. Right, so let's go in and see what's going on. What are these? The JLC headset case. Every product's a great product. Right, so let's go see let's go see what we got. So yeah. yeah, how's it going, folks? Nice one getting everything out last week. How's it going, folks? Right, let's go see sales. It's nice to be back. Yeah. Beaksy, have you changed over to one of these yet? I actually haven't. Are you I gonna? would like one, yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you. I'm going to keep my purple one. I actually like purple better, but for the viewers, I want to give this away. So, yeah, five of them. Make sure you stay tuned. You're going to find out later in the episode how to win. Have you guys got one of these yet? No, thank you. Oh, nice. Do you prefer them to the purple one? I like the purple ones because I have our names on them. See, Mandy, great minds think alike. I like the purple ones better too. I'm staying with purple. Yeah. What about you, Claire? I prefer the black one. For the black one? Nice. I prefer the handle, that's why. Well, yeah. the top lid thing. Yeah, it's decent. Like none, of this, none of this rubber crap, is it? It's like proper... <laughs> yeah, that's not going anywhere. It's tough and ragged. What about you, Lex? Prefer the black one? I prefer the purple one too. Yeah, nice. All right. Whoever chose these black ones, you have your answer. What's the story behind these boxes, BC? What do you tell us? Why do they not have JLC written on there? So these were our old boxes. Yeah. Uh, when we were. Let me show. So we got interesting to note. Talk about the JLC tape and the JLC logo. So the reason we switched over was yeah. because they got dirty because they're so white. Okay. So we switched over to brown. What you have here is ah JLC is next to the tape, but it is not next to the box. Why? Because at the time we were trying to get our branding on stuff, but we were having pushback on people didn't want branding on the case because they didn't want customers to come direct to us. Little did they know at that point that, well, we hadn't fully implemented a like dead policy, but they didn't have to worry about that because we would never deal with end users at the time. But people were like, oh, we don't want our stuff branded because we don't want the end users to come to us. Obviously now they know that's not a thing. So any end user that comes to us, we send them straight back to the reseller. But we had this here as a small way of starting to introduce JLC as a brand without plastering it. And we were like, oh yeah, is that okay if we have that branded with just the uh, poor? And then the customers who were okay with it, we also added the tape. And that's what that was. And then after a while, we put the whole brand on there. So we had a few people who wouldn't accept the tape and it would be clear tape. And this little logo was just a wink. And we started to like slowly put it out there to get it into people's peripheral. So that's a very, very interesting story about JLC starting up. Right, let's get an update on JLC TV. So how was it yesterday, guys? You busy? Yeah, we're still nice. playing catch up from the uh, end of the month. <laughs> Why don't you tell us what's going on? Tell um, us what's the plan is today. Me and Jack and Marshall are going to Compute Centre. And they're recording it? Yeah, we're going to try and get some good clips. Nice. Similar to x -May. We have an idea and we've sponsored like a fake casino type thing for the event in the evening. So is it a big night out tonight? Yeah, it's like in a, it's like in a ho big hotel. Like quite oh, really? a few vendors are going as well, so that'd be cool. So we will look forward to seeing how that goes. What's the update, Josh? Were you, uh, any word on any of your ops? Especially that okay. stylus one, is there any news on that? Um, so this, that, that's been delayed eight weeks. Okay. So there's a delay, so it's looking to be, like I, I hopefully know around uh, May time. Yeah, I've heard some good stuff on some ops, um, like stuff coming in within the next couple of weeks and whatnot, so there should be some good stuff coming in, hopefully. Today, I've got basically just a list of all my accounts. I'm gonna work through what kind of people are spending, what they're buying and that kind of stuff, and just see where I can push more product into which companies. Nice, nice. Oh, Baz, why don't you show us your car? Well, obviously, we were hoping to get the Tesla delivered while we were still here so we could see Baz collect it, but there was a delay. Something to do with like a, a signature not being right or something. But now, we're here and we get to see it a few days late. Oh, wow, bro. You jump in the front, Beak, and then you can selfie on us. Sure. Wow, look at that, Beak. Purple, 
purple uh, car in the middle there. You can talk to the car and tell it to do whatever you want. Like, open glove box. Really, you can ask it to open the glove box? <sighs> open glove box. Because there's no actual button to open can the you glove box. Can you tell it to close? Not the glove box, no. Sure. So you can tell it to open and close the boot, um, the windows, literally to do pretty much anything. But okay. So Baz, these are, this is fake leather, isn't it? You've got to press the button. So this yeah, is this is the it's... softest seats, softest leather I've ever had. Fake leather is better than real leather. This is, I tell you what, I'm obviously not vegan, but the vegans might have it right. This is insane. This is like a cloud. It's the new yeah. word in for pleather, isn't it? It's vegan friendly leather. Vegan friendly leather. I love it. On a normal seat, you like reach the bottom, like your yeah. suspension. Here, I can feel that there's so much softness yeah. underneath me. This That's is mad. It. What do the family think about it, Baz? Oh, they love it. Oh, sick. They played games or anything on there? Is there like s um, stuff you I can do on it? I haven't downloaded the games because I haven't connected it to the Wi Fi. Can you get Fortnite on there? I don't think you can get Fortnite. There are a lot of games on it. You can actually wire it up as a TV, can't you? There's something like, it's like you can put HDMI input. The kids do love is. Why are you farting, ah. James? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, you can actually pick the seat as well. Yeah, so you pick the seat. Um, you can have it on the outside of the car. Oh, it might only oh, be gross. when you're stopped. You can have it on the outside of the car because it's got a megaphone. Elon Musk has really like thought of all the essential features in this car. Like, oh, yeah, like never are you going to need to buy a, a whoopee cushion. What's the situation here, BC? You um, are not happy. What's going on? Me and you weren't given me. Name and shame. Oh. Someone's missed out and not giving you these things. All right, get your phone out with the group chat now. Right, get right into the JLC group chat. I want to zoom in on your private conversations. Get in there. Okay. Right. Who forgot to give me an egg? Just write that. No, no kiss, no nothing. Okay, okay. Who forgot my egg? Just write that. And yours. And I just say who forgot my egg. That's it. Now close the conversation now. Don't let anyone think that it's a joke. I'm actually a mad. Who forgot your egg? Kelly. You can't be mad at Kelly. I'm not mad, I'm kidding. How can you send a message to frighten little Kelly like that? Because you made me. I can do it. You said. You were annoyed. You were annoyed as Kelly. I didn't get annoyed by me as Kelly. Oh, I didn't. Barry just melted to me down after I sent it. I was going to say, Becky, you know, maybe they had some sibling rivalry and she wanted to miss James out and you just got tied into James. <laughs> I think so. Uh oh. Kelly, I think you might have just saved your job because Beak was about to come down. Who did it, Kelly? Who did it, she asked, because she's about to go. Barry was right, Becky Lee. Where is she? Where is she? Well, she's going. She's going. You must have got my message because I'm trying to lose weight. I don't want chocolate and I'm fasting, so thanks. I'm back. You scared? No. Charlie ate it, it wasn't even me. Charlie oh, it actually existed at one point. It did. I thought it was fair, that was the issue. Okay, well, Beak was mad. <laughs> That's not an egg. Is no. this what you're you doing? call this an egg? <laughs> Can you give me this as a substitute? Yeah, but you like hot chocolate, I do. Oh, I do, guys. I do. You like hot chocolate, do you, Beak? No, I don't. If it's not an egg, I don't want it. Alright. Well, that's how she, uh, how she says thank you, I guess. That was all James's. Um, apparatus there. Right. <laughs> we got video of Charlie eating it. Oh, cracking go, it on go, the go, go, go. And it was mini eggs. That wow, you eat some fast. Right, let's Charlie. <laughs> Come on. Charlie? Yeah. Where's my egg? Huh? Where's my egg? What egg? I see a video of you. They're saying that you Becky ate her eggs. Uh, that you ate my eggs. Is that your one? <laughs> oh, you don't even know. I think. <laughs> <laughs> She's been looking forward to it all week. Uh, and she had a panic attack. Becky gave it to her. She said, Are you going to eat it at the cricket? I'll let She's got to go, hasn't she? Yeah. Give it, well, no, give her a warning. Okay. Yeah. She's going to have a verbal warning. warning. You weren't aware. Yeah. It's my egg. I didn't know. Yeah, all right. Mini eggs are my favourite. Now I'm All mad. right. If uh, we ever get a tribunal, listen to this. We've already heard from Charlie that it was Becky, yeah. so Becky can't make a counterclaim. Yeah, sure. She's garbage. She needs to go. Apologies, Beak, but maybe it's karma for using other people's mugs. I'm joking, of course. Please don't fire me. But on to another renovation at GLC. So Scott Price just came in with the bathrooms. Yeah. Mad development. So you know what we'd said previously, and obviously I don't want our viewers to judge us. We thought that we couldn't get a basin into the communal area. But he's blown my mind. He said we're gonna be able to get a basin and a cabinet. So we've agreed now. We've signed on the dotted line. We got a basin and a cabinet. So people are gonna be washing their coffees right next to the very place they make the coffees. 
which for me is like, yeah. that's magic, right? That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Speechless. I, 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 I didn't see. What do you mean me confused? So before, when you want to wash a coffee cup, where did you go? Oh, I don't like that term. Where did you go? <laughs> I didn't wash mine, Barry does. Alright. Oh, oh, Alright, oh, smart. Oh, smart. You, you lose yours. And you, you just go on to the next one. That's not even your money. Yes. Again. Your money. Again. Um, okay, great. So we've got a sink and a cabinet. Nah, that's even better than that. Let me talk. That's just a small tip of the iceberg. Let me show you the whole thing. So obviously we said after we did the roof, our next big, pro big project starts. So we're going to paint this, get rid of all this mess here. We're going to have a... 700 basin here and then a 700 unit next to it to keep all the cups and stuff and that'll be underneath so you make the coffees there oh, you can wash up here, here. yeah and then we can just move rearrange nice. but scott got soaking wet down the back there and he's like no way you're not gonna believe what i just found look what it was zoom in on this you're not gonna believe your eyes the viewers will not believe this there's a waste wow. and he says i can set one up there all i gotta do is pop that cap off and i said deal <laughs> so yeah, we got it. And so we're just putting that there. We're gonna paint the walls, and then in here, what we're gonna do? And this should all happen very soon because he's gonna come and do it like bit by bit. Plans for this place. <laughs> the floor is being replaced by. Si it's gonna look similar because what this is, Luke. Even though it looks crappy, this is anti-slip. This is anti-slip technology. Yeah. So we're gonna swap this back over for anti-slip technology. Then we're tiling all the way around. We gotta get six meters squared of tiles. That's what we have to buy. We go to Tops Tiles. He's gonna give us a discount code to get ten percent off using his code. Then we just bang that up, and then he's going to replace basin, urinal, fresh toilet, tile it all around, fresh radiator. I said, could you replace this? And he laughed at me and said, bro, you just get that off Amazon. <laughs> so we, I said, can we get a chrome one and make so it look good? So where we have the urinal, so where's the same place? Same place, yeah. Everything the same place, but with tiles, new floor, new radiator. Um, yeah. Nice. And with the girls, they have more tiles. They're doing the all around the wall because apparently it's nicer to have a prettier bathroom for the girls. So kind of sexism in reverse. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think I like it. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, it looks nice already, didn't it? Arlene did it well. You kind of say the girls don't even need their bathroom done, right? <laughs> no, it's, they need their table and everything. <laughs> See, the one that needs doing is the boys' bathroom. Uh, how do you know some of the boys use our bathroom? The real question. I know, we just caught <laughs> in the act. Yeah. <laughs> it was in there. What? Yeah, yeah, because when we were going through the quota, Scurried off into the girls. There are questions. Yeah. When's Ed coming? Oh, Ed. <laughs> Ed's coming when the renovations are complete. <laughs> when this building renovations, when we're ready, yeah, we're going to get Ed shearing down. He's going to cut and he's going to do a grand opening. I can't imagine how many views we're going to get on that JLC TV episode. Can you? It's going to be mega. Mills. Be Big cool. things going on at JLC. Obviously, we've got the small stuff out of the way. Roof's been done. Now onto the stuff that's meaty. <laughs> get that urinal swapped out. Nice. Nice. Actually, have the hint. Yeah, no worries, guys. <laughs> Over and out. Hello, people. Sorry about the shorter episode, but worry not. We have our banger coming on Monday, so put that in your calendars. In Europe, we processed 12 orders with a turnover of 6,518 euros. And in the UK, we processed 156 orders with a turnover of 20,473 pounds. But now, onto the giveaway. Same rules as last time, but the heat is on as we're cutting the amount of winners in half. So for a lucky five people, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and follow us on Instagram, comment down below your Instagram handle on this video and we'll be in touch. But have a nice weekend and we'll see you Monday.